Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Mike or Geekerman and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. So Zer has come. Whoop, ah, what? What's going on here? Zer has come and he has brought the Suros regime. Now, if you follow my channel for a while, you know that the Suros was one of my favorite primary weapons. Maybe the last word is a contender. But beyond that, Suros is probably one of my favorite and one of the most iconic weapons from Destiny 1. So without the shader, the gun is actually blue now, but I've got the old school shader. So we are going to use the all white old school Suros regime with spinning up along with the red Mamba sidearm and then the shock and awe, which is essentially a legend legendary version of plan C. The perk that this gun has, what's it called, right here. Backup plan essentially makes it like the plan C where when you flip to it, it fires almost immediately and you can get a ton of kills with it. So yesterday, I actually filmed an entire Suros regime video. I got a we ran out of medals using the weapon. It was just an excellent game, a ton of fun. And then I went to edit it and realized, holy cow, their whole team's in there, and realized I did not have any audio on the game. I was beyond disappointed. There was no audio. Come on, man. There we go. We got him. So it was heartbreaking to hit a We Run Out of Metals with the Suros, have awesome live gameplay for it, and then be able to not use any of the footage. I probably will put together, at the beginning of this video, I will probably put together a little highlight, not montage, that's not the right word, but a little highlight of uh, the original gameplay. They're behind me. They're behind me. Oh my gosh. Drop the healing rift. They're right above me here. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. There's one. We reload. There's more up here. Yeah, right here through the you can see him through the wall with this exotic i love it what the the exotic chest plate that i'm using which i'm going to do a video just on this chest plate basically lets you see opponents through the wall the sanguine alchemy when you stand in your rift you can see your enemies through the wall before they even come around probably my new favorite exotic to use for pvp it makes staying alive so much easier than it was so sorry i got a little off topic talking about the exotic but we are back using the suros i did hit the we ran out of metals with it i'm gonna try to do it again with this live gameplay now that i have audio but uh we'll see we'll see if we can make it happen this is wonderful. all right there's one. Oh, oh. there's two I love it. oh my goodness that ah whoa we're still alive it's fine we're still alive where'd this guy go got him very nice and we got our super there i don't know about you guys but i am just beyond excited to see this gun back in destiny 2. it was one of my favorites in destiny 1. i think my all-time favorite exotic if you guys if you guys follow the channel you know that it's queen breaker's bow but this one is a pretty close second there we go there we go where's more i need more they're up here not too shabby. Oh my. There we go. There's a guy over to the right too. Good plays, man. What a well-played grenade. Uriel's gift plus that grenade took me out. All right. Looks like they're trying to push us from over here. I'm going to be ready for him. The Suros time to kill is so quick in this game. It's crazy. I should have got behind that ledge quicker. Just realized I wasn't muted. So everybody's been enjoying my dialogue so far. I'm sure you appreciate that, teammates. <laughs> Yeah, so Queen Breaker's Bow, number one favorite exotic, but Suros is up there. I think Suros, The Last Word, and Queen Breakers are definitely my top three for sure. So until the other two return, I think that Suros is probably going to be my favorite exotic right now. All right, well, a solid mercy rule to start us out. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have been asking me about the Soar Hat giveaway. I've gotten a ton of comments about it recently. I've still got the hat. I planned on giving it away today, and I'm going to, but I'm going to give it away on the second upload of the day. Because my footage yesterday got all messed up, I I still have to post today's video later. So on the second upload of today, I'm going to be giving away the hat. Don't worry, it's happening today. And I'm planning on trying to make this a recurring thing. I love doing the giveaways with you guys, especially if it's something like this where I can sign it and make it personal. Helps me to give back a little bit for all you guys have done for this channel. Literally, the requirements for it are very simple. You just need to be a part of the Bell Squad, have notifications on for the channel, and then leave me a comment that you're interested in the hat. I use a program that randomly pulls YouTube comments. I pull a few until I see somebody that's interested in the hat then i will announce it in the video i will message you and i will make sure you get your sore merch also we are going to be doing new merch very soon i've been working a ton on it recently i'm really excited i probably will give away the very first piece of 
merch for free to one of the Bell Squad members. So if you're interested in getting the Sore Snapback, I promise I will give it away on the second upload today. All right, Soros is good, but not at long, long range. We're gonna need to push this guy a little bit. Try to close the gap a little here. All right, I hope they push me. Uh oh, oh my, oh my, back up, back up. We're going this direction. We gotta get outside on him here. We almost got destroyed by that rocket launcher. Yeah, so again, I'm really sorry there wasn't a Soros video yesterday. I got all excited about it. I had the footage done, but sometimes it happens and there's just not much you can do. Thanks for coming out, level eight. <laughs> all right, I think there's a guy out here. Let's Soros him. There we go. It's so nice with this Warmind DLC. I think there are still a ton of problems with Destiny 2. I'm not going to pretend like there's no issues with the game, but... Uh, oh. oh my, we almost died right there. All right, let's love this nade and then push with the SMG. There we go. All right, Soros time. I know he's back there. There we go. There's another guy back there. Doing work with this gun right now. I love it. All right, we'll pick up the crest. We'll play the objective for you guys. I know you appreciate that a little bit. Man, Soros time to kill. So good. Yeah, what I'm saying is Destiny 2 still has its fair share of problems. But I think the game the creators are making videos on this game again, and it makes things so much easier for me when there's actually other content creators that are creating videos as well. And Cooch is back on the grind. There's I mean, there's a whole bunch of guys that are back on the Destiny 2 grind. And it's really just because of the Warmind DLC. I think this DLC has done a lot to kind of revitalize the community here. There we go. Another guy behind me over there. I think he's dead. Yep. There we go. Spinning up is a beast perk. It's so strong. I love that I got the we ran out of metals, and then now that I'm trying to do it again, it's like, nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> not just for the health of my channel, but just for Destiny channels in general, it's so nice to have uh, a lot of YouTubers back, back on the grind, essentially. Okay, are we getting that guy's heavy ammo? Or did he fire? I think he fired it. It was just rockets. He only got one. All right, let's drop this and watch through the walls for him. All right, what am I using this gun at that range for? I love that you can see through the walls with this exotic. It's so cool. Uh-oh, we're dead. We are done. 1v2, not gonna happen. I don't think that this, I don't think the Warmind DLC is gonna bring everybody back, but you can already tell that there is a nice, healthy growth in this game that was not there a couple of months ago. I think that if they continue to increase the time to kill, or decrease the time to kill, sorry. If they continue to decrease the time to kill, and if they'll uh, make a bigger push for 6v6, I think that they have the ability... Oh, excuse me, sir. I think that there's the ability to make this game back to what it was, at, at least close to what it was back in Destiny 1's days. I know a lot of people are not uh, extremely confident in that, but I think it's possible. I think what needs to happen is we need to have 6v6 back, and we also need to have a little bit quicker on the time to kill. Guns like Graviton Lance... Guns like Graviton Lance, I feel like, are right where we want to be for most weapons in Destiny. We go. Soros is feeling good though. I'm not gonna lie. The Soros time to kill. I'm not gonna lie though. I've been impressed with the Soros time to kill so far. It's been way stronger than I thought it was gonna be. Come on, level eight. I got killed by unaveraged toast. That's disappointing. That's why you guys sub though, so I can lose one v ones to level eights. Spinning up on Soros. Look at the time to kill in this thing. They really have come a long ways with the power of these guns. It feels so much nicer now. Jeez, doing work. There's another guy back there. Come on, push for him, let's go. We'll go SMG, slide through the pulse grenade. Nice job, teammate. Say, overall I would say Destiny is back to like a B. I would give it a B rating currently. It's not the best game in the world. There's still, I think Fortnite is probably still, still more fun at this point, but Destiny 2 has come a long ways. Oh my, the team shots were real right there. I'm excited for the future of it. I think if they can continue to progress, they gotta listen to the community. I think the hope for Destiny 2 is there. I think it's possible to revitalize the game a little bit. It's not a dead game, it just, it needs some help right now. That's, that's, if we're being honest about it, it... It's improving. It's just a slow and painful process, but being part of the Destiny community, I guess I could say I'm kind of used to that at this point. Come on, spin it up. Oh, what? What? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here. We got him. It's fine. We got him. That was so much work for that kill. So yeah, I'm excited for the future of Destiny 2. I think with them bringing all the exotics back, continuing to add new exotics, you gotta help PvP out a little bit. You need to make it 6v6, increase the kill speed just a tad. I think PvE is in a great place. Everyone with Warmind is talking about how awesome PvE is right now. PvP could just 
use a little love. That's all. All right, guys. Well, no, we ran out of medals this time, but we did get one yesterday. Trust me. Trust me. And if you're interested in the sore hat or you're interested in getting free merch next week, I think like once every week, two weeks, I think it'd be cool to do a giveaway, personalized giveaway, not just like some free V-Bucks, but a personalized giveaway back to you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for all you do. I really appreciate it. So yeah, seriously, if you're interested in the hat, the only requirement, you just got to join the bell squad, hit the bell so you get notified about my videos. YouTube never notifies anybody about my videos. So this is my way of compensating for that. I really appreciate it. I hope to bring you guys awesome content soon. Leave me a comment what exotic or what loadout you'd like to see me run. I'm working on new montages. I'm going to start doing a community montage that we'll talk about soon on the channel. Destiny 2 community montage. I haven't done one yet, but now that the game's kind of revitalized, I think there's a possibility for that. I want to see you guys' clips. And then I'm also working on a We Ran Out of Metals montage, which is going to be all the highlights of my We Ran Out of Metals up to this point. I think I have 25-ish right in there, so I'm excited to put all of those together for a video. All right, that's going to do it for me. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Sub if you're new and you want to join the Geek Squad. Hit the bell if you haven't. Keep an eye out for some new merch. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. Mm -hmm.